In this video, I briefly want to talk about what a gradient is intuitively. So say you have a function of two variables f of x, y, and we'll call that z. So what is this? So if you plug in an x and a y, you get a z. So this is a 3D graph. So you can pretend it's some type of surface. In fact, let's pretend that this models some rolling planes. So this is a 3D graph. And we're standing on top of that three-dimensional object right now. We're standing in rolling planes. Try to put yourself there. So what is the gradient? The gradient is a vector. It's del f of x, y. That's how you read that, d-e-l. And it's the vector of first-order partial derivatives. So it's the partial with respect to x, the partial with respect to y. So this, here's the key, this is a two-dimensional vector. So this is a 2D vector. So this is a 2D vector. Okay, let's go back to our rolling planes analogy. So we're standing on rolling planes, right? Nice, beautiful rolling planes. And so maybe if I go this way, I go up pretty fast. But maybe this way, I go up a little bit faster because it's steeper. The gradient, what it does is it will point in the direction of maximum increase. So if we're standing on rolling planes, we're standing on this 3D graph, the gradient is on the floor. It's a two-dimensional vector, and it points in the direction of maximum increase. So if you're standing there, it will tell you which way to go. It's like a compass. It will tell you which way to go to climb as fast as possible. So whenever anyone asks you, hey, what's the gradient? You know, I know how to compute it because it's really, really easy. You say, oh, the gradient is a vector that points in the direction of maximum increase. And you can give them this rolling planes example because I really think it's a good one. So again, if you're standing on rolling planes, you're standing on a 3D object, right? You're, you're living in a 3D world. This is a 2D vector. It's on the ground and will tell you which way to go in order to ascend as fast as possible. I hope this video has made some sense. That's it.